Hey guys, Dennis back with a brand new video. So today I'm gonna show you how to replace a Fluid Master toilet fill valve. All right, so before we get into the replacement, there's a few things that you need to know about toilet fill valves. So number one, there's numerous brands to choose from and they come in multiple sizes and styles. Some come as a standalone fill valve and others come as a kit with a replacement flapper like this one right here. Now, before you go to purchase a replacement, you really wanna to look to see what you have existing in your toilet right now. So let's do that. So for this valve, you can see that it's already a Fluid Master brand, which makes this a lot easier. They also list the model number typically on the float itself, in this case, model 400. All we need to do is match the model number when buying the replacement valve. Other times you're dealing with an older fill valve that has one of those ball style floats, which is okay because the newer style with the integrated float works just fine in this situation also. Your first step is to secure the water supply and flush the toilet. This will drain most of the water out of the tank. Next, remove the water supply line from the bottom of the fill valve. You can either use an adjustable wrench or channel lock pliers like this. If there's water remaining in the tank, you want to get that out before removing the old fill valve so you don't make a mess. You can simply place a bucket under the fill valve to catch the water when removing. If you have a wet dry vac, you can also vacuum the water out, but make sure you remove the filter in your vacuum first so it doesn't get damaged. The next step is to remove the fill valve, and for this you'll need either a pair of pliers or an adjustable wrench depending on the fastener holding the valve in place. With the fill valve retaining nut removed, simply lift the valve out of the tank. This will allow any remaining water to drain into your bucket. Disconnect the rubber hose and fill clip going to the overflow tube, then place the old fill valve assembly to the side. If you didn't buy the replacement kit with the flapper included, now would be a good time to just give it a quick inspection. A worn flapper can cause you some issues like a constantly running toilet or a toilet that will only flush when holding the flush handle down due to a misadjusted flapper chain. Check out this video here for more information on that. To install the new valve, first remove it from its packaging and take note of all the included parts. Place the new fill valve into the opening in your tank, making sure that the gasket and gasket mating surface is clean. Install the retaining nut on the bottom side of the fill valve and tighten until snug. Pay attention to the alignment of the fill valve because it tends to spin as you're tightening the retaining nut. At this point, you can reattach your water supply, but don't turn on the water just yet. We have two more things to do. If your fill valve is sitting low in the tank, you'll want to raise it. Likewise, if your fill valve is sitting too high and hits the tank lid, you'll want to lower it. And that can be done by simply loosening the lock ring on the valve and raising or lowering it. After you have the correct height, slide the lock collar back down. You can also do this before installing the valve if you can't get your hands in there. Next, take the rubber hose and fill clip included with your replacement valve and install the hose onto the clip. Attach the clip to the overflow tube on the flush valve assembly. You can trim the rubber hose with scissors if it's too long and hits the toilet tank cover. And then finally connect that to the fill valve. This particular valve has an adjustment to control how much water goes in the bowl. Now we can finally turn on the water and as you do, you're gonna to wanna to check for any leaks coming from the hose and the bottom of the tank as it fills. Our last step is to adjust the fill level. The Fluid Master brand valve has a nice adjuster that you can use to raise or lower the water level of the tank. Turn it clockwise to raise and counterclockwise to lower. Most tanks have a fill line where the water level should be, but a good rule of thumb is to make sure that it's about a half an inch below the overflow tube. Now, once you get the fill level set just right, you're done. Give it a test flush and make any fine adjustments to the water level if you need to. <laughs> All right, guys, so it was that easy. Save yourself a bunch of money instead of calling a plumber and do it yourself. I've had comments on my other toilet fill valve replacement video saying that plumbers are charging some of these people $100 or more to replace this $15 valve. Like, it took me maybe 20 minutes total to replace this valve, and that includes doing all of the camera recording for this video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please make sure to hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Also, consider scribing if you're not. Did I say scribing or subscribing?
these endings are horrible lately. Anyways, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me bring you guys new content every single week. Until next time, thanks for watching. Hey everybody, Dennis back with a brand new video. What was I gonna say? Trust me, you can definitely be... <laughs>